you can find a fun thing about a pandemic is how many new people have discovered the library. So Lisa Rice, how are you hanging in uh, during the pandemic? What are you, what are you doing to keep busy? Well, it's certainly an interesting time. <laughs> I keep redesigning library programs over and over <laughs> um, as we get new information, which that, that seems to be the focus of my life these days. <laughs> Well, the Warren County Public Library was very quick to realize that they were going to have to close their doors, but they wanted to make reading accessible to all the people. So how did you handle that? Well, we first heard that we would, li would likely be closing. We set up a, a week of curbside service um, and encouraged people to stock up on materials uh, until we had more information. And so we, were, we did curbside service for a week. Um, and then closed entirely for a month <laughs> um, and to the public anyway. And then we have re-initiated re, uh, our curbside service. Um, once we had, we came in and cleaned carpets and everything had been quarantined for a good long period. And we were able to get some more information from uh, the Department of Health and Human Services about what was a safe period for quarantining library materials. Um, so we felt like we could we could do that safely. But when you say quarantining li library materials, we, we, we know so little about COVID, but we do know that we need to scrub down or disinfect. Mm -hmm. So touching a book, you know, that's a very tactile thing. How, how do you disinfect books? Well, what we are doing now um, is if something is returned to us, um, we, our employees are gloved and they, um, bring those materials into a enclosed room and they stay there for three days, which is uh, what we were, what was recommended to us was to quarantine them for three days. And then that should be a period in which the, if the virus were on it, it would, it would die. So, um, and then we are, all of our employees are gloved and masked. Uh, we are disinfecting every surface, um, being as cautious as humanly possible. I understand that. So the governor, Governor Andy Bashir, is talking about reopening, yes. and you've heard that you're going to have uh, all public libraries in the state of Kentucky are going to have what they call a phased reopening. What, is, what does that mean? Well, I think one phase is curbside service. When we get more instructions on that and we were more comfortable with um, providing that service, that, that is a phase of getting materials to the public. Um, we feel like when we are able to open again to the public, uh, we have a plan that will limit the number of people in the building at one time, um, which may mean we may have to limit how long they can be in the building. It just depends on, on, on the capacity. Um, we have spread out our computers because we, we feel like there will be a high demand for computer use. So we have spread our computers out, which meant reassign some spaces for that. Um, of course, you know, sort of the lifeblood of what we do here, it, or what probably our passion for it, is our programming. And there will be no summer reading, reading like we generally think of it. We will not have a kickoff event, um, and we will not have be able to have our uh, children's programming as usual. So we are we really. Uh, I have to say. I work with the best people in the world and they have reimagined library programming online. And so we have been trying to deliver that type of services all along um, through our Facebook page. Um, but again, I, I, I think we will have very limited hours, very limited number of people in the building at a time. Again, we will continue to quarantine items, uh, disinfect throughout the day. Um, we have been gathering all the supplies we need for a safe reopening. So the bottom line is, in a pandemic, you don't have to stop accessing a public library. Absolutely not. Well, one of the fun things about this, if you can say, <laughs> if you can find a fun thing about a pandemic, is how many new people have discovered the library. Because uh, when, when this all began to happen, we, we immediately knew that our online services would be in high demand. And so we uh, increased all of the limits that people were able to, to borrow, um, 
downloadable books and audios. Uh, we have free music that you can stream we have, or that you can download. Uh, we added a video streaming service for people to use. Um, and we saw a, a huge increase in demand for those items. Um, it was interesting how many teachers would call and say, hey, can, I, can my kids get a digital card? And we said, absolutely. So anyone who wants can come, you know, can email us and we can get them set up on a digital card even now. Um, so they can use all of our services. Um, some friends of mine who aren't what you would think of as a typical library user, uh, we were able to send out information about um, through this particular period, our Ancestry.com uh, database has been uh, remote access granted. And so uh, some people, uh, some friends of mine have said, oh, I just went down a complete rabbit hole <laughs> on the databases. <laughs> I love it. Lisa Rice, director of the Warren County Public Library, joining us here on Coffee Near Me as we come to you through our Zoom chat, social distancing, coming to you from my dining room. Stay well, Lisa. Thanks for joining us here on Coffee Near Me. And remember, you can keep the conversation going. Who would you like to sit down and have a cup of coffee with? I'm Barbara Deeb. Thanks for joining us.